hi dear students here we are going to discuss about experiment to determine wavelength of monochromatic light using Norton's rings method this is our experimental arrangement namkoru glass plate in plano convex lens in a air film light ray focus reflect the light rays in the interference pattern observe so in the figure, S is a monochromatic source of light, L1 is a convex lens and G is a glass plate, P is a glass plate and L is a plano convex lens. Apo P is a glass plate, inum, L is a plano convex lens in the middle air film, we have the light rays normally incident. Apikana. So, S is the light rays, L1 is the convex lens use parallel light G is the glass plate in the incident AP. G is the 45 degree inclination of the place of the air film in the air film light rays normally incident AM and D. So, normally incident AM light rays. Then, a part of the light ray is reflected back by the curved surface of the lens and a part is transmitted from the lens is reflected back from the plane surface of the glass plate. These two reflected rays interfere giving rise to an interference pattern in the form of circular rings. These fringes are localized in the air film and therefore a long focus microscope is focused to see the pattern. Then procedure. The apparatus is arranged to produce Newton's rings. The microscope is focused to see the rings. Then the microscope is adjusted so that the intersection of the cross wires coincides with the center of the ring system and one of the cross wires is perpendicular to the direction of motion of the microscope. Now we the microscope in the cross wire in the fringe system in the center of the ring Taking one clear ring at the center as the nth ring, the microscope is then moved to the n plus 20th dark ring so that the cross wire is tangential to the ring. The readings of the microscope is noted. Now, we have the central ring n plus 20th ring. That is the n plus 20th ring. That is the cross wire. That is the microscope. The readings are noted. That is the next step. The microscope is moved back by slow motion screw and readings are noted for every alternate dark rings till end the dark ring is reached. Then the microscope is moved to the other side of the center and observations are continued and the readings up to the same number of rings are taken. The diameter of the rings are calculated. Apo left side la reading at the initiation, 20th ring in the right side load to focus a picture, a cross wire out at the reading at the co. Our difference I reckon 20th ring in the diameter. Other bole 20th, 18th, Anganangane and then N variable alternator rings in the reading at the diameters contributing here then the tabular color the load to note here. Upon the matter tabular color midana. First order of the ring. Then we have 20th ring, 20, 18, 16. We have to read the readings. Then we have to read the order of the ring. We have to read the of the microscope. Left to right. Then the difference is the diameter. Then we have to calculate the calculation. D square dn plus 10 into square minus dn square. Tabular color. Then mean dn plus 10 square minus dn square. Now, the end ring in the dark ring in the diameter the equation and the square the equation we have dn square is equal to 4 r n lambda. Now, we have the n plus m ring, that is 20, n plus 18, we have ring we have the diameter the equation we have dn plus m square is equal to 4 r n plus m lambda. Now, we have the difference the that is the d square n plus m minus dn square which is equal to 4m r lambda appo m 10 aanu nundengile avade m inu pagare endu kodukka 10 kodukka appo anyway namukku po radius of curvature ariyamengile ee equation il ninnu namukku lambda measure cheyan pattum that is the wavelength of the 
മോണോക്രോമാറ്റിക് ലൈറ്റ് വി യൂസ്ഡ് ആറ് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാനായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് റേഡിയസ് ഓഫ് കർവേച്ചർ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാനായിട്ട് ബോയ്സ് മെത്തേഡ് യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ആ ലെൻസിൻ്റെ റേഡിയസ് ഓഫ് കർവേച്ചർ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാം ദെൻ വി ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ലാംഡ ഈസിലി യൂസിങ് ദിസ് എക്സ്പെരിമ